Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in London. I'm here with Shalesh Rao. Shalesh, how are you doing? Good, thanks Mike, how are you? Good, so you're the go-to-market go guy for Google Cloud? Is yes, that so I head up global sales for Google's Cloud Platform business. Okay, and you Basically. guys had an announcement here today at Strata. Yes, very exciting. We just announced uh, the launch of Google Big Table, which is, um, you know, we're very excited about it. It's really just taking um, the underlying Big Table technology that Google's used to drive you know, to, Everything. to power pretty much you know, pretty most much, of yeah. our, our services that we offer to consumers and businesses like Gmail and, um, you know, search and ads and all of that. And so what it is, it's just a, you know, it's a highly scalable, highly performant NoSQL data store that allows you to just do incredible things that were probably not even, not just not possible, but we couldn't even conceive of before. So if I'm if I'm a startup, I yeah. can start using this and get the capabilities that Google has to scale out for me right away. Is that yeah. it's very simple? So it integrates with you know very the the common Apache APIs for for most of the large um, big data technologies out there, and what what it allows you to do is essentially connect to Google's storage technology that is powered by Big Table, so you can just ingest. And, and start analyzing just massive, massive amounts of data at scale, at a price point that is just, you know, incredible, and uh, with performance that, that really Perfect. cannot be beat. Yeah, in just really low latency. So we're talking about large, large, complex data sets that can be stored, replicated, and analyzed, you know, literally with a, with a few clicks. And it it's sounds, really powerful. It sounds perfect for yeah. like biotech and, and any, anything that's where there's a ton of data being generated or so look that's, through. That's the thing, Mike. I mean, today if you look at it, you know, big data is everywhere. A lot of people are talking about it. And it's, you know, it's, I think it's hard to get through a conference or any kind of you know, place where people like us get together without being caught up in, in big data and what it can do to drive a lot of innovation. The thing is, it's really not related to any industry anymore. I mean, there are certain industries where definitely there's, like you said, you know, Massive. biotech, financial services. You know, one of the partners that um, that we announced our partner uh, that we announced this launch with SunGuard. You know, they've built a system on top of Google Big Table that I think does something like 2.5 million trades per second. You can ingest that kind of data and just start analyzing that. Right. That's just one example. You know, telecom. You want to look mm -hmm. at CDR data, you know, biotech, obviously, because you know you're trying to process a lot of information to get to get to you know whether it's genome sequencing or or you know root cause of any diseases. But really, you know, any industry we're in right now, we're all generating tons of data. Most companies really don't know what to make of it, and this really provides the platform to get those insights. So you know, you can now ask any question that you couldn't have asked before. You may not like the answer. Right, but, but you know you can ask it, and you have the capabilities now of what Google has to build a lot of their products. Yeah, that's the thing. This is this is a you know we're very that's excited it. about the launch, but we're also very comfortable knowing that this isn't something that's new. That you know we're kicking the tires for somebody else. We've been running Big Table for about ten years now, and it has powered you know it's one of our core innovations at Google. It's powered most of our you know fundamental technologies, and so we're just making it available to people. And that's by the way, that's one of the things about you know, our strategy with Google Cloud Platform is really, we're taking all the innovations that have made Google, Google, and making it available to folks around the world. So we're just exposing things in the system and the infrastructure that we've always had. So what other parts of the Cloud Platform play with Google Bigtable now? Is it BigQuery too? So or yeah, is BigQuery is one part of it. I mean, you know, if you look at Google's Cloud Platform, it's really a complete, um, you know, set of products in, all the way from infrastructure to platform to services that that complement all of these pieces to really run your entire business on the cloud, right? So we have infrastructure as a service with Google Compute Engine, mm -hmm. we have platform with App Engine, and we have a bunch of storage options, whether it's Google Bigtable is one of them, um, and we have others, and a bunch of services like Dataflow and BigQuery. So BigQuery, think of BigQuery as the, as the mechanism to analyze and gain insights from all of this data, whereas Bigtable is really a way to store large quantities of data at extremely high speeds and be able to access them with a very, very low latency at a price point that's you know incredibly advantageous to companies. Excellent, so if we were to sit down next year, yes, in, in London again next year, yep. where would you say the Google Cloud Platform will be what other announcements would you like to see coming along? Oh, I think, you know, I think we would be, you know, if, 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 if past is prologue, I think we would continue to 
drive innovation across a wide, wide swath of industries like we have been over the last few years. We've been on a tremendous growth trajectory, which is very exciting for everybody on the team. Um, part of, I think, the, the fundamental, you know, amazing thing about what we're doing is, again, as I mentioned earlier, we're just taking existing Google's magic and making it available to everybody. So for many years, it's been used by Google to do amazing things, and now we're opening it up to all the folks. So I expect to see continued innovation, more launches across, again, all of these areas, you know, infrastructure, platform services. We're doing a lot with uh, containers and Kubernetes, yeah. with cluster managers. So I expect, you know, that's relatively new, so you should expect us to be doing more in that area. But fundamentally, I think next year, this time we would have, we'd be successful, we'd be happy if we've continued to drive innovation in the developer community, make it really easy for companies both on the cloud or those who are starting to make that journey really provide an, an amazing option for them because this is the future. I mean, you know, not everybody may agree with it right away, not everybody may be there, but we truly believe that this is the future of computing. You know, a true utility model where you don't have to worry about the infrastructure, it's all there. So one last question for sure. you. you. You mentioned the Google magic. Yes. What if someone doesn't know how to do the magic that Google has built into the products? Do you guys offer services? That's, that's, or? A, that's, a, great, that's a great question, Mike. So, you know, you're right. A lot of it is the magic that's built over, you know, years of innovation and technology, um, you know, innovation. One of the things that we take extreme um, care to, to put in our products is we really want to hide all the complexity from you because the key to making this fundamental journey and moving, you know, making that shift is really, if it's, if it's so complicated that you need a PhD to, to run all these things and, and you have to you know, hire a lot of specialists, then you probably won't get the adoption you need. So a lot of the companies currently doing clouds, you need, you know, in some cases you really need to be an expert in operations research and pricing to just be able to figure out how many reserved instances you need and predict your you know, usage and model out the pricing. We make, we, we make all of that simple, right? So you don't have to buy reserved instances with us. Just keep using and the more you use, you automatically get discounts. It's a fundamental shift in how cloud has been priced and that's something that customers find innovative. So one of our goals is to make that complexity go away. So if you look at our big table launch, I mean, it's really simple. We use the Apache API. You can just literally in a few seconds, you're up and running. You don't have to worry about if your application suddenly needs more data. Oh, do I have to provision it? Do I have to plan for it? No, it just takes care of it. So the magic is just transferred, right? So it's, uh, and we just give you a really simple interface to experience that magic. And that's what we love. So where do we learn more about the magic? Is it cloud.google.com slash big table? Cloud.google.com is the best place to start. You know, you can okay. go into the products and, you know, or just search for Google Big Table. Today you'll find, uh, thanks to Google search engine, you'll exactly. find a lot of articles, exactly. including the ones from, uh, uh, you know, from, from this conference. So. Really, I mean, you should be able to just cloud.google.com is the place to start. Okay. And uh, now we have a you know we launched a free trial, so anybody can come in for you know get up to three hundred dollars to use on any of our products. So it's you know the key the key to innovation, as we said, Google is not a it happens everywhere. It can happen all the time, and you know the time to start is now. There's a Chinese proverb that that I like to use, um, you know, that I like to think about. You know, the best time to plant a tree was twenty years ago. The next best time is now. Yeah. So very good. That's what we need to do: is get started now, and you know there'll be amazing things that can happen. Excellent, Shalish. So. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you, you very at much, events. Mike. Thank yeah, you. Pleasure. Appreciate it.